This is the SF Productions Podcast Network. Join us on the Donut Trail. From the Pop Culture Bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. You can check out our audio podcast, How I Got My Wife to Read Comics on iTunes, or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. Well, we just completed what they call the Butler County Donut Trail. <laughs> yes. they Actually, I saw this online a while ago, and then they had an article in our local paper about it. Right. And so, this is just north of Cincinnati. It's apparently well known for its donut shops. Or, I don't know, maybe it's not well known. Maybe it's just because there are so many donut shops right. there. And so... Uh, you had to go to nine different donut shops. We did it in two, two days. days. Yes, because we didn't want to have to drive to Cincinnati again. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and so at each place you had to get a special code. And if you got all the special codes and filled out your book. We can send in and get a donut trail t-shirt. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> so let's go take a look and see how that went. <laughs> places this was from martin's right the actual first donut place we went to was milton's. milton's and we had our donut at milton's and then we realized oh no if we're gonna eat <laughs> donuts from all these places we can't even eat half a donut no. at each shop no so at each shop we got two donuts and we each ate a quarter of the donut yeah and now we brought donuts from the rest of the places home almost all the rest of the places so right now um the one that we have from um Martin's was really interesting. I don't know how well you can see that, but it was a um, chocolate and yeast bread uh, braided dough. Yeah. And it was really quite tasty. Mm hmm I thought so. So, I don't know. Are you going to have another bite now? Oh, well, maybe go ahead and have another bite. I, I will say that probably one of my favorite donuts was the first one that I got at Milton's, which was a lemon-filled donut. Mm-hmm. Um, with a lemon frosting. It was very, very tasty. 
Although some of these certainly compete. This was probably one of my second favorites. This is from Oxford. Yeah. And it was, it's like um, almost a crawler-like donut. I would call it almost a crawler, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's got a really good, tasty um, dough with a crisper outside. Mm -hmm. And, um, but still a donut-y inside. It's not a yeast dough, but... But it's a rich, buttery dough. It's very, very good and tasty. Mm -hmm. I really like this. Would be really good dunked in your coffee. <laughs> yeah. The next one that we have um, is from Ross Bakery. Yep. And we didn't actually um, eat any of these. We were too full yesterday. Right. <laughs> and we couldn't finish it. So this will be our first try at the um, Ross Bakery donut. And we've got one that's a cake ice donut and one that's a traditional glazed donut. So you get both types, basically. Yes. Mark prefers the cake donut, I mm -hmm. think, while I kind of prefer the yeasty risen donut. How was that one, Mark? It was very decent. The, uh, the icing is, uh, is very rich. And then you've got your yeast donut, which is more of a, again, a traditional, just a glazed. Yeah, um, this would be, it's much bigger than, say, a Krispy Kreme donut or something. Mm -hmm. It's very much taller. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is from Mimi's. And this is the last one we hit on day one. Yeah, again, we didn't eat any of the donuts right. there. We just brought them back. Um, Mark is not going to try this chocolate cake donut with chocolate frosting and coconut because he doesn't like I'm coconut. I'm not a fan of coconut. I, uh, on the other hand, love coconut. And, and what do you have? And this is just a uh, cinnamon sugar uh, coating. Cake donut. That's pretty good. Pretty decent. Now, normally I wouldn't have gotten a cake donut... But by this time yesterday, it was almost 2 o'clock, and they were running a little low on their donuts. Mm -hmm. A lot of these places closed early on the weekends, but they did appear to have sold out of donuts rather right. than, right. you know. Right. So moving on to day two. <laughs> so we went Stan the Donut Man, and the guy there was really nice, mm -hmm. I thought. Or the people there. I'm not right. sure it was a guy. <laughs> um and they had this thing called a Davy Crockett, which was sort of a different kind of braided sort of cinnamon roll that was really cute mm -hmm. and also very, very tasty. Did right. you think it was tasty? I thought so. And then you had a, like, more just chocolate glaze. I have to say, I think this was probably one of the better chocolate glaze donuts mm -hmm. that we had. Are you going to have a little piece I'm of that? I'm going to have a little piece of that. Okay. You have a little piece of the other. Okay. Mm. The next up is Kelly's. Where we had our first really non-traditional right. flavored donut, yes. which is a blueberry donut with bacon. Yes. Which so, I really like. You should have a piece of that. I ate a little piece of oh, okay. it when we were there. All right. I'm going to leave the rest for okay. you. Okay. All right. I'm not really into those non-traditional ones. Then this you're... was a really pretty, pretty one. It's a cherry donut. It's nice cherry color inside and a pretty cherry frosting. Mm -hmm. I really liked that. Mm -hmm. And then we also had a Bavarian cream donut there. I think mm -hmm. that was Bavarian cream. It might have just been vanilla I cream. I think it's vanilla cream there. Vanilla cream there. I'm a big fan of the cream donut. Mm -hmm. All right, so now we have from Jupiter. Jupiter, it was interesting, is one of the only places that build itself as coffee and donuts. Mm -hmm. A lot of these places didn't even have anywhere to sit down, but Jupiter actually appeared to roast their own coffee there. I had a cup of coffee. It was pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, we got a jelly donut. And their donut of the month, which was a um, chocolate cake donut with mint frosting and chocolate chips. Which was excellent. Sucker. Mark's a sucker for that mint yeah, chocolate exactly. chip. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. There's a little bite for you. Okay. You can even have the rest if you want, but not right now. <laughs> not right now. The raspberry one I liked. It had lots of frosting. Mm -hmm. And I think that sometimes that on these filled ones, you need a lot of frosting. Depends on how much filling there is, too. But. Right. Okay. Our last donut. Our last one. From the donut spot. Yes. <laughs> it looks like we have two halves of one donut, but we don't. No. It is two different donuts. This is the Bavarian cream. And they also had this peanut butter filled donut. Mm -hmm. That was interesting. Yeah, it was very interesting. Yeah. Do you want to try it again? I thought I would try a little piece of that. And it, I, you you said it reminded you of a... Of those little um, Halloween candies that were are like, like a... Kind of like a, a chewy taffy almost that have the peanut butter inside. And they're usually wrapped in orange or black um, wax paper. And this is, to me, more like if you had peanut butter pie. Oh, I see, I, I don't like peanut butter pie. Well, this so. is very much like peanut butter pie. Yeah. No, I, I'm not a fan of the peanut butter pie. <laughs> 
It seemed like most of them were doing a pretty good local business today. Oh, yeah. There wasn't a single one where we walked in and there weren't other people there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And a couple of them, there were people that were buying actually like two or three dozen donuts. Mm -hmm. right. So that was very interesting. I mean, I guess I've not had an occasion to need that many donuts. Right. And I don't think I will have an occasion to need that many After donuts this. for that for what? After this. After this, I'm not sure I want to see another donut. <laughs> <sighs> and yet, I'm surrounded by donuts. And here we are. <sighs> so check out that it wasn't just this past weekend. Yes, it, was, it goes on in fact, forever. Yeah. So if and you're if you're in uh, what is it, southwestern Ohio, in north of Cincinnati, right? Um, it's near an IKEA. And the best grocery store in the city, which is Jungle Gyms. Yes. Um, go on to any of these donut shops, pick up a donut passport. Mm -hmm. They have they have them there. You just write down the keyword, then you can send it in and get a free T-shirt for yourself. There you Maybe go. Maybe in a couple weeks you'll see us sporting our donut uh, trail T-shirts. <laughs> but in the meantime, you can check out our audio podcast, How I Got My Wife to Read Comics on iTunes, or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. From the Pop Culture Bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. Thanks for watching.